Welcome to another lesson of the EMA. Today we'll be dealing with trading sessions. Trading sessions are important in terms of they guide you when to trade and when not to trade. They also give you, uh, they assist you with factors like news releases. Because if you are using, because you use different theories when trading. So if you're using the market maker theory or principle, then you will know that the market makers use these sessions to create setups before news releases. So if you can get those setups, you can be able to determine the direction which the news will take. So it can also help in that sense. And also technically, in terms of trading technicals, uh, you can also utilize these sessions to find specific patterns there can be lots of benefits which come from knowing trading sessions. That's why sometimes you'll hear me talking about London session is coming, New York is closing and whatsoever. So I'll be using the South African Standard Time as my time zone, which is GMT plus 2. You will do your own conversion wherever you are, but then... Um, very confident that once we are done with this lesson you won't need to do much conversion you just see by the structural pattern that okay we are now in this session we are now entering or closing this session so without any further ado let's get into it we have four sessions which are namely the asian session the london session the new york session and the sydney session the sydney session is sometimes left out or locked out but then in here we'll be uh, dealing with it. So we have four major sessions, the Asian session, London session, New York session, Sydney session. These sessions also have their currencies. So the Asian session, the main currency for the Asian session is the JPY. Then the London session is the Euro, the GBP, and the CHF, which is the Swiss franc. The New York session will be the USD and also the CAD or CAD. The Sydney session will have the AUD and also the NAD. I'm just listing a few currencies or most most traded currencies. So Asian is JPY, London is Euro GBP CHF, New York is USD and CAD, Sydney is AUD and NZD. So let's now get into the times which these sessions open and lose. We start off with the Asian session because it comes early in the morning. The Asian session comes at 1 a.m. It opens at 1 a.m. and also closes at and also closes 9 a.m. So I'll be making use of okay before I start making use of anything. Let me show you these areas here. These dotted vertical lines or broken vertical lines they show for those who might not know they show a full trading day this is 24 hours so the distance between these two broken vertical lines is 24 hours it's an entire trading day from the open to the close so as we know the forex market runs for uh, five days in a week monday to friday and it runs throughout 24 hours the whole 24 hours per day so let's get into the times for the sessions we said we'll start off with the asian then we'll come with the london the new york then we'll end with the sydney session the asian session comes at 1 a.m. or it opens at 1 a.m. and closes at 9 a.m. So I'll be making use of the vertical lines. Uh, you'll forgive me if my accuracy is off, but then it won't be that much off. You'll just get the picture that I'm trying to paint. So even if I'm off by 30 minutes or one hour, okay, it should be a maximum of one hour. So even if I'm off with that much you will have to understand 
you just have to get the picture because I'm also talking. You'll also hear what I'm trying to put out there. So we have the Asian coming in at 1 a.m. Or opening at 1 a.m. Then closing at 9 a.m. So 1 a.m. should be around here. Should be around somewhere here. Okay. It's that candle. That Apologies for that. It's this candle here. So it's around there. I don't want to do much moving as you see. You might waste time trying to adjust the screen. So it ends at around 9 a.m. Which should be somewhere here. Okay, we're a bit far off. So 9 a.m. should be somewhere around here. As I say, don't pay too much attention on the accuracy. Just get what it's what is being taught here. Then from the Asian, this is the Asian. We're done with the Asian. We go to the London. The London session starts at. <coughs> excuse me for that. The London session. Starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. So we'll be seeing 10 a.m. So it should be around four to five candles from the last line. 10 a.m. should be somewhere around here. Okay, so. Let's put it somewhere around here. Ten. Okay, let me also use a different color. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. 5 p.m. is here. So, we'll be placing it somewhere around there. That's let's leave it there that's 5 p.m. then New York New York session opens at 3 p.m. and closes at 11 p.m. so 3 p.m. is there 3 p.m. is somewhere around here Somewhere around here. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. Let me also select a different color. So we are now in the New York. We're now in the New York, which is from 3 p.m. to 11. 11 p.m. It's somewhere around here, somewhere there. Okay, let me just adjust it a little bit. It should be somewhere around here. Not spot on, but then close enough. Then finally, we have the Sydney session, which is from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. You'll also be seeing something when I'm busy plotting uh, these lines here. When I'm busy placing these lines here. You'll see something called the overlap of sessions. So, Sydney is from 11 or opens at 11 p.m. and closes at 6 a.m. So, 11 p.m. is that one for the New York close. Let's go and find 6 p.m. So, we're getting into another trading day, a new trading day. So, you'll find that 6 
a.m. Sorry, 6 a.m. is around here. So, say it's 6. It's a bit further. It should be somewhere around here. Yeah, 6 should be somewhere around there. So, I'll just be using another color. Which color should we go with? Just take this one. So, we now have four sessions. We now have four sessions. Let's do this. We have the Asian session here. We have the London session here. We have the New York session here. We have the Sydney session coming in there. Then those are your four sessions. Remember the Asian session, major currency, JPY, London, major currencies, the Euro, GBP, and CHF. New York session, major currencies, USD, CAD. Sydney session, major currencies, AUD, and NZD. That's why the news for these currencies, they don't, you, you won't find JPY news uh, coming in the New York session. No, you'll never find JPY news coming in at that time. JPY news coming this session. Euro, GBP, and CHF news come in at this session. USD and CAD news come in at this session. AUD and NZD come in at this session. So you see, already by just merely looking at the currencies involved in these sessions, you can sort of create a strategy in which you can determine the news direction because there'll be a pattern, a specific pattern, which is given. So you can also create a strategy based on sessions. It can be a fundamental strategy or a technical strategy. So let's proceed. Let's proceed. So as I mentioned, okay, let me just keep this on. As I mentioned, we have the Asian the London, the New York, and the Sydney. They all have their different uh, time intervals, or whatever we may call them. But then what you should know is that usually during the... Because the Asian, if you notice, the Asian session and the Sydney session, the Asian and the Sydney session, they are overlapping. They are almost occurring at the same time they are over lapping period is very much high which is why in some cases the sydney session is cancelled out so the asian and the sydney they overlap and then it's this time whereby the market is very slow it doesn't move that much but then remember here's another thing we have the major currencies for these sessions so if we have JPY in the Asian session and AUD and NZD in the Sydney session, it means we might experience some volatility or some movement from these three currencies during those sessions. Then during the London and New York, uh, okay, let me start with the London, we should expect much movement from Euro, GBP, and CHF pairs from uh, the New York or during the New York, you should expect more movement from the USD and CAD pairs. So any pair with CAD or USD in it, it will most likely move the most during those uh, during the New York session. Then a pair with JPY in it will move the most during the Asian session. A pair with Euro, GBP or CHF will move the most during the London session. 
A pair with AUD or NZD will move the most during the Sydney session. But then it's not always the case. Remember this. It's not always the case. We just deal with cases whereby uh, we have most things happening. So it's mostly. It's not all the time. It's not always. It's mostly. So what can we do next? We have the sessions in check. Sorry for that. We have the sessions in check. Then we also have the overlap. Because if you can see, there's this space here. This area here, whereby we still have the London session, but then the New York, we still have the London session running, but then the New York, the New York has opened. This is what we call a session overlap. That's a session of overlap. Then, uh, even with the, as I mentioned, the Sydney, because remember, the Asian session starts at 1 a.m. It opens at 1 a.m. and closes at 9 a.m. The Sydney opens at 11 p.m. and closes at 6 a.m. So you will see that uh, the Asian and the Sydney, as I mentioned before, are overlapping for a long time. Then, besides the overlap, we have something called a gap time. A gap time is experienced here between, let's say, the Asian session and the London session, whereby the Asian, remember, closes at 9 a.m., then the London opens at 10 a.m. So there's an hour here. There's an hour. We call that hour a gap time. Because if Asian closes at 9, then London opens at 10. That means there's an hour difference, whereby there is no session opened or closed. So that's the gap, the gap time. That's the gap period. And we can say it's used for market makers to set up their moves, their target for those sessions. Remember, you have different currencies moving in those different sessions. So, uh, there should be certain setups which will be placed so that those currencies can take a certain direction. So, okay, this thing, I keep on forgetting it. So, we have those sessions in order. You can now scroll back and just see by just merely looking, by just merely looking at the chart, you can see that this area here is the Asian session, less movement. Then uh, the breakout here is for the London. Then we have the New York. Then in comes the Asian with less movement as usual. Oh no, sorry, the Sydney, but then also the Asian is coming. So just like that, you can see, you can see. Less movement, break out. Then market starts quieting down. Then in comes in a new trading day. Once again, just like that, we have very low or very little movement during the Asian and Sydney sessions. When it's the Asian and Sydney sessions, we just have low movement. We call that movement uh, consolidation. It's called a consolidation. The movement is called a consolidation whereby the price moves within a confined area. There's no breakout to the high or to the low. So in the next video, now that we got you introduced to the sessions, we'll also be dealing with a strategy for these sessions. There are certain strategies which can make a lot of money when applied. And these strategies are based on trading just sessions. You can add your indicators, your price action, and whatsoever 
to the strategy to just get more confirmation. But then just by by just merely looking at the charts, you can know that uh, the chart is most likely to go in this direction because it's this time. Therefore, such moves are happening because of 1, 2, and 3. So fundamentally and technically speaking, you can know where the market is headed when you use sessions. That's it for now. Thank you.